spinach and feta frittata. So I'm adding uh, a little nutmeg uh, to the pan because we're going to wilt in a ton of spinach. I started with a bunch, the whites and light green tops of scallions, and I added in a fat amount of grated garlic. 12 inch pan, 12 eggs, one egg per inch. Then we're going to start folding in two pounds of spinach. We're gonna whip up our eggs with salt and pepper. We're gonna talk about the herbs that go into this. This is a really, really healthy dish. Instead of wrapping it in pastry, we're going to use a little sprinkle of whole wheat panko, a little breadcrumb to stabilize our frittata. And instead of adding just a little bit of dill, we're going to add a combination that I absolutely love of dill, flat leaf parsley, and mint. It's killer together. And we're gonna add all the herbs into our wilted spinach. And then we've got, of course, my favorite, salty goodness of feta cheese. We're gonna combine this all together, pour the eggs over the top. I'm gonna get the spinach wilted. Come on back and I'll show you how to assemble this before it goes in the oven. So the lemon that I zested, I just uh, squeezed the juice of half a lemon over two pounds of stemmed spinach, coarsely chopped then wilted, with a mountain of fresh herbs, dill, mint, and parsley in combination. Now we're going to add a sprinkle of whole wheat panko to stabilize the frittata, make it firm up. And we're going to add in our feta cheese, a good fat cup of feta. Then 12 inch pan, 12 eggs. We pour our eggs down over the top. Let it settle. And then we take very thinly sliced tomato and arrange that all the way around our frittata. And then we're gonna carefully transfer this to a 375 degree oven. When it comes to frittatas, you cook them until they are puffed and deeply golden all over, bubbly at the edges. And we're gonna let that rest a little bit before you cut it. See you in a little bit, baby. So when your frittata comes out of the oven, it'll look like this guy over here. It's still screaming hot. You really need to let this settle. I put it on a little wire rack, just like if you were cooling cookies at home. Once it settles, you can cut it. Now, most people cut these things into wedges, right? I think it's a lot easier to just cut them in squares. You can make it tiny little squares, big squares, depending on how many people are coming to the, to the event.